our Obadiah's uh, wood stove chimney installation program. We wanted to show you folks uh, the uh, correct way to put in a roof jack on steel roofing. As you can see, we have steel roofing right here. It's uh, loose right now. Uh, and then here's the roof jack with the chimney. Essentially, you have your uh, chimney installed and you want to make sure it's plumb. You're using a plumb level device. Here we have, the, we make sure it's level. Or, or do you want to come over here and push this over? Yeah, I was trying to hold this sheet on. It'll order. stay. Okay, now we make sure the, the chimney is plumb on both axes. This way and this way. You can't see it. But it's plumb on both axes, X and Y. Okay, now after that's done and the uh, hole is cut out in the steel, you want to do that on the ground like we have. And then the thing that you need to concentrate on is down here, you can see there's a slit in the steel roofing. And that is for the flashing on the roof jack to slide out and over the steel. Now if you go back up here and look, you'll notice the flashing is underneath the steel. Underneath the steel so that rain and snow slides down. Oh, let's see underneath. Hits that. Oh, okay. He's going to lift that up for me. There you go. Look at that, folks. There it is. It's right, on, right down on the roof. You see your roof built? And it's going down, down, down. Now, you can see where the other piece of steel is that is flowing up over the top of it. There you go. Pretty easy, huh? You also got to do is make this simple slit here on both sides. Right there and over there. So that the bottom edge of the plant is flowing out over the steel roofing to facilitate all your water to flow uh, over the steel roofing and not underneath the roofing, okay? That's about it, folks. Remember uh, that, plus you know you gotta keep it plumb with your level before you screw everything down, okay? That's it for Obadiah's wood stove installation. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.